Team Nova Nordisk exists to show the world that living with diabetes doesn't have to stop you from being incredible. Siendo increíble. Geef nooit op. Seré increíble. Unglaublich zu sein. We use cycling as a platform because it's one of the toughest endurance sports in the world. And one that competes globally. We're an international group of 16 riders from 10 countries. Because diabetes is a global family. Yes, this year I raced in Azerbaijan, in Taiwan, in Emirates, in Estonia. It's a huge experience for us. I remember the most was in China. Just before the, the start, one small uh, kid was showing my jersey. We let him come. Today he was diabetic and we take pictures. With this face, he was just happy. In my first year as a pro, I got to race at the GP de Saguenay and the Tour de Bos. I think Europeans typically don't tend to think of North America as the home of cycling, but I think especially in that first stage of Saguenay, when you start looking at one kilometer foot to like a 300 foot wall, you get that it's going to be a tough day. So I've raced the uh, Tour of Denmark two times now in my career. The Tour of Denmark definitely feels like a home race. When we're there, I feel like our team stands out, we've more fans than anyone else. The, the regular spectators, I think 50% of them had some sort of Novo Nordisk branded material. And we felt like the most supported uh, team in the peloton and super special, extra motivation and yeah, makes you want to succeed that little bit more, you know. Racing a Japan Cup was special because uh, it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. The crowds in Japan, they're amazing. There's so many people there, like five deep uh, on the whole course. Um, I think someone told me there's around 80,000 people there for the, for the race, so the, the crowd support's are unbelievable. As I got the call up for Stagiaire to the pro team, the British Elite Championships was held on the Isle of Man. It was great to be able to race against the biggest riders in Great Britain on home road. I did the time trial, which started two, three miles from my house, and then the race followed the, the famous TT course. It was just an absolute buzz to race on home roads with support signs on the road. Being around the course was unbelievable. It was just like, it was, it was such an experience that I'll, it'll stay with me forever. Looking back, the day went fantastic. That last stage in, in Colorado, I had an objective to get in the breakaway. Attitude heading into the stage was that it didn't matter what happened, it didn't matter what scenario was thrown at me. So I definitely took the offense is the best defense policy. Got really motivated before the start and made sure I was up the front. And as soon as the race started, I went on the attack. I ended up working out and I got in that breakaway and got to ride out the front of the bunch for a couple of hours. My coach called me, asked if uh, I'm ready for the Milano San Remo. San Remo. I'm ready, the Bex is, uh, is ready, uh, I can go. Uh, I'm very nervous because this race is important, not only in Italy, but in the world. Our mission is to inspire, educate and empower people affected by diabetes around the world.